Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Valerie, and this is The Hargett Life. Today's video is a collab with my friend Megan over at Megan's Kitchen. I really enjoy her channel. She does weekly what's for dinner videos, grocery hauls, and more. I'll have her channel linked in my description box below. So if you haven't already, go check her out, show her some love, and subscribe. You won't be disappointed. She shares a ton of recipes, and they're always easy and budget friendly. And if you're coming over from Megan's channel, welcome. I do what's for dinner videos, recipe videos, lots of desserts, grocery hauls, and more. I'd love it if you would hit that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. In today's What's For Dinner video, I'm sharing three easy recipes we had this past week. Now let's get started. For this first recipe, you'll need a can of chicken, a can of cream of chicken soup, a can of mixed vegetables, and I added a can of diced potatoes. You'll need an egg, milk, bisquick, and some cheddar cheese. I started out by spraying my pie plate with some nonstick spray, and then I added in my can of chicken. And I tried to break up some of those big chunks in there. Next, I just dumped in my can of mixed vegetables and diced potatoes. Now I add in that can of cream of chicken soup and give it a stir. Now I added in my seasonings. I like the organic no salt seasoning. I get it from Costco. I added some of that and I added some garlic powder and Italian seasoning. And then I decided to add in a little nature seasoning. and some pepper. Now I'm just gonna mix all those seasonings in. I wanted to mention, I seen my friend Mel from In the Kitchen with Mama Mel make this recipe and I made sure to put it on my meal plan for this week. And I was excited to finally get to try it. And she recommended adding a little bit of cheese to this. So that's what I did. Now I'm going to start on my topping here. And I just added in some Bisquick and an egg and some milk and stirred it until everything was well combined. Yep, I decided to add seasoning to the topping too. <laughs> I just poured that mixture on top and made sure all that chicken and those veggies were covered. I put this in a preheated 400 degree oven for 30 minutes until that top was a little golden brown. 
Thank you, Mel, for sharing this recipe. It was super easy and so good. I'll put a link to Mel's video in my description box. This recipe is definitely a keeper. This next recipe is called taco spaghetti. And for this, you'll need spaghetti noodles, taco seasoning, enchilada sauce, diced tomatoes, Velveeta cheese dip, sour cream, shredded cheese, and ground beef. I found this recipe from Taylor Elmore, and I'll try to find her video on this. This is actually her recipe, so I'll try to link it below. I started out by browning my hamburger meat, and while that was cooking, I started on my noodles and cutting up that Velveeta cheese. When that hamburger meat was cooked through, I drained it and added in the taco seasoning and some water and gave it a stir. Next, I added in the diced tomatoes, the enchilada sauce, and the sour cream. I stirred that up and then turned my heat up to medium and then let it simmer until it started to thicken. After I let that simmer for a little bit, I added in my Velveeta cheese and continued to simmer that until that cheese was melted. Now I add in my drained spaghetti noodles and stirred that up until all those noodles were coated with that sauce. Thank you Taylor for sharing this. It was actually in one of her older videos so I'm so glad I came across it. I just topped it off with some of that shredded cheese. This next recipe is called mashed potato casserole with crispy chicken. And you'll need chicken strips, mashed potatoes, corn, cheddar cheese, and brown gravy. I needed to make dinner quick this night, so I cooked up some instant mashed potatoes. Then I sprayed my casserole dish with some nonstick spray, and I poured in those mashed potatoes and smoothed them out. Next, I added on a can of drained corn. Now I covered that corn with some shredded cheese. I just used frozen chicken tenders for this but I let them sit out for about 10 minutes to soften a little bit and then I chopped them up and added them to the top. This went into a preheated 400 degree oven uncovered for about 20 minutes. While that casserole was in the oven, I made a packet of brown gravy per the instructions on the back of the packet. When that casserole was done, I poured that gravy on top and it was ready to be served. Mm -hmm. 
This is a delicious, really quick and really easy dinner idea. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And be sure to check out Megan's channel, linked in my description box below. But before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.